Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a video for you about all of the movie easter eggs in the new map Fog. For those of you that are unfamiliar, this is a map in the Onslaught DLC. I've been doing a lot with it on my channel, but there are a lot of easter eggs in this map, and I do mean a whole lot of easter eggs. Some of them are active, some of them are passive, some of them are movie easter eggs, some of them you might recognize, some of them you might not. But today I'm going to go over every single movie easter egg in this entire map and show you all of the work went into it. Whoever made this map must have been a big horror movie buff like me. I watched Watch a lot of scary movies. They're some of my favorite movies. I mean, you're talking to a guy that owns a legitimate copy of Killer Clowns from Outer Space. So today, starting with the outside of the cabin, let's go over all of the horror movie Easter eggs. Number one, we have this boat on the outside. It's not an insignificant boat. This is actually the boat or the orca from the movie Jaws, the one where they go and hunt down the killer shark. This is where all the people live on. Outside of the other part of the map, there's this alligator that likes to swim around. We'll wait just a second for him to swim back by so you can get a better view of him. There he is again. The alligator is probably more of a minor easter egg, like a Lake Placid or Dino Croc kind of thing, but he's there. He doesn't do much. He just kind of scoots on by. Most of the really cool easter eggs are in the cabin, but the entire map is just littered with them. This cabin is modeled a little bit after the Evil Dead cabin, or we'll say maybe the Texas Chainsaw Massacre cabin, but coming right in the front door, you'll see all of the taxidermied animals on the wall and what appear to be dead cats or dead dogs strung up uh, right next to a locked door. This is a reference to to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre where they have all the meat in the house and you the first time you see Leatherface is when he comes out through the locked door and grabs somebody. On the left there is this evil monkey that's smoking and it seems kind of insignificant but this is actually a reference to the 1986 or 7 movie uh, based on the Stephen King novel called Monkey Shines about what was supposed to be a helper monkey helping a paraplegic man in his house but turned out to be an evil monkey. Behind the evil monkey is an interesting thing. In this old rustic cabin with you know very ancient uh, we'll say electronics, there appears to be a somewhat sophisticated uh, box here, like a security system with some stamps and stuff on it. I'm going to guess that that's a reference to, oh, there goes the spider. Yeah, there's little spiders that drop down on this map. I'm going to guess that this is a reference to Cabin in the Woods, and there are actually several Cabin in the Wood references in this map, this being one of the more obvious ones. I'll, uh, I'll do the downstairs first. We've got some creepy pictures here and there. Each one of these cobwebs has a face in it. I'm going to say this is a scream face, or maybe the face of a soul, but if you can kind of see it. Let me see if I can zoom in on it on the sniper rifle so that the whole, there you go, there you can see the face in the screen. You got hooks hanging from the ceiling, that's kind of a generic horror movie thing. Uh, the basement we can breach, but we'll get to in just a second. Not sure what the heater is about, but it, it's bringing back memories of something. Uh, we'll go ahead and move on down to the basement. A lot of this over here is just kind of random creepy junk. We have crabs, like uh, there was a fishery here or something. But the basement door is a reference to the Evil Dead, the Evil Dead 2, the old one, and the new one. You can breach this uh, from the bottom or the top, but I'll go ahead and breach it here. That's where they lock up the zombie, and it just kind of hangs out down there, and it taunts people. Yes, bats come through. Down in the basement, there are more Evil Dead references and more murder references. This right here is actually a reference to one of the very first creatures in Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn. It was sort of a flying skull demon thing. It, this, I guess you could call this hellacious taxidermy is on the wall and represents that. Down here we have the chainsaw that is on the box art of the French film Haw Tension, or as it's in the U.S. translated as High Tension. It's sort of a slasher movie. Very interesting, a very artistic film. You can give that one a look-see. Uh, this is some variety of cryptid. It could be an evil insect from almost anything, but it has a kind of aliens feel to it, yet I don't think that's the alien that you're thinking about. We have a dead dog down here in the basement, or a dead wolf, and I'm not sure what the idea with the dead wolves are, but they're in key locations on this map, and I don't understand it. The interesting thing about this body down here is that if you look closely, it has predator-like mandibles, and the skull shape isn't exactly normal or human. There's something goofy about it. I think it might be a predator reference or a clone. See, it doesn't even have the right amount of uh, digits on its hand down there. I believe that this is supposed to be a dead predator down in the basement. Let's see, there were a few other things down here, if I... I remember correctly if I can find them. Yes, mannequins from Silent Hill. Here we have another mandibular predator type alien monster guy. Ah, yes, almost forgot. If you've seen the new version of the Evil Dead in the very beginning, and by the way, there's quite a few spoilers here, they burn a witch that's tied to a post in the basement of the building, and this is a mannequin with a skull kind of stuck to the post, exactly like she was in the movie, so that probably references the new Evil Dead movie. That's all for the basement. Moving upstairs, we have these uh, turkeys on the wall. I'm not exactly sure if they're supposed to be anything or not, but they are unusual. Up here we have even more Evil Dead references. Let's move over to the Evil Dead section. Yes, 
This is the recorder where Ash plays the tape and summons all of the evil demons in the Evil Dead. It's kind of got the old school recorder here from the original and the microphone from the new version. And if you look closely on these DVDs, they say Ghost Boaters 3. I believe this is a clever little nod to the supposed Ghostbusters 3 sequel that's just never ever going to come. Oh, there comes another spider. In this room we have what I believe is a direct reference to the Aliens film. This guy looks a lot like a face hugger. I believe he may be made out of human parts, but that looks like a face hugger, maybe minus the tail, or maybe a head crab from Half-Life, but it's a pretty clever reference. Over here is a more obscure one. We have a bloody sullied mattress. And I initially thought that this might be the mattress from a movie, say, like The Exorcist, where the girl is strapped to the mattress and you have to exercise her. But when I look closely at it, I noticed that the blood was reflecting when it really shouldn't be, because not a lot of the other blood reflects a whole lot. Uh, but it's reflecting differently, and it's reflecting stuff not necessarily behind it. So I actually believe that this is a reference to the movie Hellraiser 2, which, if you haven't seen, uh, is uh, they summon demons through this filthy, bloody mattress. A woman has sex on it, and she kills her lovers, and her... Her former lover grows more powerful and the Cenobites bust through and all that sort of thing. It's a pretty scary movie, not for the faint of heart. Let's move around back and check out some more movie refer references. In the very back we have a set of Jaws, probably from the movie Jaws, where Roy Schneider sits there and he's like, oh the shark is bigger than you think, and you can see the skull in the background so it gives you a frame of reference. This is clearly the well from the movie Ring, or the Japanese version, the Ringu. This is where the well that they drowned Samantha in that made her evil. There is some sort of Easter egg associated associated with this well, which for the life of me, I do not understand, and I don't know how it works. And interestingly enough, this cabin over here is from the Evil Dead 2 again, and maybe, yeah, definitely from the Evil Dead 2. What's kind of weird is that in the Evil Dead 2, there's a well that looks almost like this, right next to a cabin like this, so it's a little bit two for one. Let me move to the cabin. Is there anything back here? Moving on to the cabin, this one also has a lot of Evil Dead references. We'll do those first. So in the Evil Dead 2, Ash decapitates his girlfriend, and her head comes back to life, so he puts her head in a vice to kind of like lock her in place so she can't bite her and shuts her up. The chainsaw on the wall and chalk outline, a lot of people initially thought that that was a reference to zombies or that this was a zombies map and you know, oh you were supposed to be able to get walls off the line. But if you've seen the movie The Evil Dead, after he locks his girlfriend's skull into place, he pulls the, uh, there's a cover over the chainsaw and he sees the chalk outline and he's like, chainsaw question mark and then a zombie busts in through this door which is already kicked open and has a big fight in here with the chainsaw and things get a little bit out of control later on he attaches the chainsaw to his arm uh, after doing some we'll say engineering with uh, what are these uh, handcuffs here like old timey handcuffs he locks down so those are here this is clearly the cabin from the evil dead here is the bear trap from I believe the newer version the leather straps and all the equipment that he used another nod to the evil dead in the new version the dog manages to dig into the cabin and dies and he buries the dog and not the cabin back here in the back and this is yet another dead dog I do not understand the significance of the dead dogs other than the fact that this is a reference to the new Evil Dead movie and I really uh, don't know why that dog in particular is there one other Easter egg that refers to the cabin in the woods I think is this very complicated diagram which I can't really read because the texture quality is somewhat too low but this looks like a very sophisticated diagram and it shouldn't be sitting in this cabin like there was something else going on here something being built here or perhaps uh, a reference to a movie that I don't entirely understand oh, there's another spider so let's move on out of the cabin out of this side make sure I'm not missing anything this trailer here is not insignificant it's not a random trailer if I'm not mistaken this is the trailer from the movie the hills have eyes the old version of the movie the hills have eyes I don't know the new version isn't very different or if you want to be a little bit more contemporary it could also be the trailer from the walking dead the Dale trailer that everybody stays in forever the one where they have to go and camp the car is here for a reason this is Ash's car from the Evil Dead 2 and from the army of darkness this is the exact same model car uh, you can't really get into the trunk unfortunately he had some goodies back there in the movie. The, oh, yep, that's, there's the hat. That's gotta be Dale's hat. That's gotta be the Dale trailer right there. I mean, that just, that only makes sense. The little uh, tent over here could be from any number of scary movies. The one that comes to mind is, I'm thinking, uh, Dog Soldiers or maybe American Werewolf in London where they get attacked in their little tent, but tents are a very common feature. If you'll notice, all of the trees around this map are really creepy looking and they all have very heinous branches and vines and stuff. That's most likely another Evil Dead reference to the rape trees, which we'll get to in a little bit, the very pleasant rape trees. Moving on, there wasn't a whole lot over here in the woodland sections. There is a burning truck that's crashed into a pile. 
Uh, no bodies or anything inside in this burning building. I don't believe that there are any significance to this burning building, nor is there anything inside of it. However, there is this bridge over here, and this is the bridge from the Evil Dead 2. The way it, it's supposed to be like a water flow or like a rock slide bends it, and the way that the hands, not the hands, the metal beams built, bend backwards is supposed to signify how it's like a hand closing you in, squeezing you in on the map. And in the Evil Dead 2, there was a car on the other side of this that they couldn't get across, um... That was originally a repair truck. In the new remake of The Evil Dead, there's an SUV, kind of like this one right here, where they couldn't get across. So we're mixing and matching our movies here. Oh, there's some little pieces of wood right there. I don't believe there's anything down below. Let's move on to the interior of the map. And as we moved into the interior, you can see more of these very spiky branches and vines. These are from the rape tree. Over here we have uh, what I'm going to call the ghost hole or the extinction pod. There is an extinction pod down here for the egg hunting. You can shoot these. I just made a bunch of bats come out when I shoot it. When you disturb it, bats come out. You shoot four of these in a map, you get an achievement. And if I wait here long enough, a ghost should come and fly into the hole. Where are you at, ghost bro? I know you're around here. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. The ghost goes into the hole. That's where they come and go from. That's one of the ghost holes. In the middle of the map, which I would call the dead center, we have some sort of satanic sacrificial altar. altar. We've got the pentagram here and the goat skull. And we've also got a sacrificed goat. When we first played this game, uh, White Boy more or less flipped his situation when he saw the dead goat on the ground here in the sacrifice. He wasn't too amused. Uh, over here we've got more unusual cryptids. We've got the aliens. We've got skulls. We've got the predator guy, the demon, and the whole should be up. Oh, that, that the ghost just came out of that thing. So, whew. <laughs> uh, I've been told that you can do Easter eggs for shooting these and destroying these and turn something on. Though no matter what I try to do, I have never been able to get anything going on in this particular altar. It's just here to reference any generic uh, satanic sacrifice movie. Getting a little bit back on track, the other end of the map has a whole host of other movie references. That half was almost all Evil Dead. This half encompasses just about everything else. Moving straight up, you'll notice that this sign, it has death painted over at Death Lake. But it says Emerald Lake. Uh, that's a very clear reference to Crystal Lake, where all of the Friday the 13th or Jason Voorhees movies are. They just changed the name of the gym of the lake. There is this Shirley's Bait and Tackle. I'm not entirely... What, is that a chicken up there? What is that thing? That's a... That's an owl. That's an owl that I apparently cannot kill. <laughs> but this is the kind of creepy store that all the main characters go to where the guy's like, you don't need to be going that way, it's dangerous down there. And the teenagers are like, no, let's go smoke marijuana and have premarital sex. And it's just a generic creepy kind of place. Is there anything of any significance inside this store? I don't believe so. I believe the other cool spot is back here in the back. We've got these gas tanks. Uh, this skull, right, not the skull, the <laughs> jack-o'-lantern here, I've been doing this till so long my words are getting screwed up. The jack-o'-lantern is a reference to Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, the only Halloween movie to not have Michael Myers in it, but it's still an iconic thing with Halloween. I mean, the, the, skull, the pumpkin is, and it could also be something like the Headless Horseman or any sort of generic scary thing. The pumpkin's there, you make, th I make thumbnails off of it, that's what I do. There's not a lot going on in the swamp. I checked these cabins, they're empty, I can't see much into them. But there is some stuff going on in this room. So we've got a TV going on with static here, and this is a three-for-one Easter egg. We've got an old TV with static and videotapes on the floor. The first thing you're going to think is, okay, this is the ring. We have the ring from, the, you know, we have the well from the ring, and we hear a little girl's voice on occasion. If you look on the wall here, there is a picture of an Asian schoolgirl, just like the one that was drowned in the ring. And here's the TV with the tapes. Uh, the the fact that she's Asian in this pace, in this uh, point is important because this is the only picture of an Asian person with all of these contemporary like 1800s white people. And here we've got like a 80s Asian schoolgirl right there, or Japanese schoolgirl. So this could be the ring tape. I don't know if I can shoot it or not. Yeah, I can shoot it, move it. It can also be a reference to the movie Poltergeist, where the ghost comes out of the TV and grabs you when it's all staticky. Like every time the TV gets staticky, the ghost would come through and grab you. And, whoop, I don't need to put that on the TV. And it can also be a reference to the more modern movie. I believe it's a 2009 or 10 movie called VHS. It's a newer scary movie, but it's kind of underground, kind of like one of those nerdy flicks that I know about. VHS and VHS 2 were cool movies. I believe that's all that's going on in this particular cabin. What is that up? Nope, that's 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 a witch's... Oh yeah, that's a witch's room. Cute. <laughs> uh, moving around the side, nothing going on in the swamp. I checked these buildings. They are totally empty. And if I move in here, there are there's just one more little reference. If you look inside, you can see that this is a double bunk bed and things have been a little bit 
uh, messy in here. This is a reference to the double bunk beds. They were always in the Friday the 13th or Camp Crystal Lake movies. This is where they always hung out. This is what the buildings look like. And I believe this is just a straight up uh, Friday the 13th uh, Camp Crystal Lake reference. Making sure I'm not missing anything else on this map. I'm going to do a quick trip around. Alligator boat downstairs. There are some other things going on in this map that I don't entirely understand. I have been told that at random times the clouds will change their formation and spell out different words and make faces. I have been told that there is a way to allow Michael Myers to collect a certain number of souls and then when you kill him an evil little girl's voice plays and gives you instructions. I have not been able to replicate that. And over back in the far back side of the map, uh, back by the well, I have been told that if you do something, and the author of this particular myth, oh, that's just like a random fog bank, doesn't know what, that you can make this floating blue orb show up just right here in front of the well, and it'll say obelisk found. I've also had somebody say that they found a, a floating triangle, and it said tetrahedron found. Yeah, there's a ghost that just came out of the well. There we go, got a good ghost footage, and he's gone. So there's some definitely some other active Easter eggs that I haven't missed, but those should be all the movie reference, uh, references, and I hope you enjoyed this episode, this uh, commentary. I watch a lot of scary movies. It's not something that I share with a lot of people, not something that a lot of people care about or get. So if you watch scary movies or if you enjoyed this or enjoy learning about me, then that's that's kind of how it is. I'm, I'm running out of things to say here at the end of the episode, so I'm just going to say, Drifter out.